Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with Mahoka Koko no Yuto Sei episode number 10. Okay, the previous episode, um, we had uh, the match between Amy and uh, Shiori. Both of them gave their all, but unfortunately, but like you know, like fortunately by the end of it, uh, Amy was able to gather her, you know, like you know, resolve and he, she was able to barely win in a way, but still, a win is a win and she was able to kind of like persevere <clears throat> so that was uh, amy's win and after that we had the uh, battle board competition between honoka and um, so what, the, what was her name so Toka? no uh, anyways um that girl I, I remember her name even in the previous episode now i i don't know it's not coming in my mind but anyways uh the blue haired girl you know it was something with t i forgot her name but you know they had the competition and um, honoka won by like you know like like it, it had like the first uh, share of usage of strategies and by the end honoka was able to outwit uh, the girl <laughs> i forgot his her name uh, outwit her and using the kind of like a illusion thing you know like by making it seem as if uh, like you know the 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 path of the battle board is a lot lesser and like you know using the that to her advantage she was able to gain the last you know last moment uh gain and win the match so both of them like you know uh like our team won and now since in the finals both shizuku and miyuki had like got into the finals like they had like a choice to like you know like both of them become the winner or something but shizuku said that no like it is like a once in a lifetime chance for me to actually go against uh the miyuki who is so strong so yeah i want to fight so today we're going to have probably a friendly match between those two and by the end i'm not sure if we're going to see the battle board or something but uh no sorry not battle board the mirage bat or something but most probably yeah like it'll be something like that like this one then the mirage bat and i'm guessing after that the season will come to an end it's the 10th episode like i think two more episodes left after this two or three i'm not sure but yeah so without further ado let's get started this is episode number 10 of mahoka koko no yutose i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started hmm. all right so here's a countdown three Two, one. Uh, ice pillar breaks. Hey, here you go. Uh. Final. Oh yeah, Honoka won, and you know Shizuku like promised that she will win. Was this shown in Retto Say? I don't remember. I don't think they showed this, did they? Yeah. Military, yeah. Oh my god, here we go. <laughs> ah, Tasha with cold heart facts. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, okay. So he worked on both of them. Oh great, this guy. I really am quite thrown off by his personality. I never thought that he was like this by Retose. After watching Retose, like... Crimson Prince. Yeah. Like... 
Oh boy. I'm not sure if that's her motivation. All right. Yeah, maybe. Oh my god. Everyone's screaming. <laughs> okay. All right, here we are. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, here we go. All right, the opening. All right, okay, so I, I've mentioned this before, but <laughs> Crimson Prince is... <laughs> this personality is very unusual in Yuto, say. Like, uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I never thought he, he was like this when I watched Red Tose. But obviously, at that in Red Tose, we barely even, like, you know... Uh, like we saw him, but not like from the perspective of the enemy, you know, which is being shown in Yuto say, like from the perspective of the enemy or the opponents. Like anim calling the enemy is a enemy is a bit, like, you know, extreme. Yeah? The opponents. All right, here we go. <clears throat> I don't want to lose. Okay. And here we go. Ooh. Resonance destruction. But Muki has her Niflheim and Inferno, so there you go. Inferno. And she can, she can like reinforce her own ice pillars using Niflheim, I think. Okay. Stop the okay. Resonance point. While also casting resonance destruction. All right. Ice for melting due to the effects of the. Oh, oh my God. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So she needs, Shizuku needs to do something before it melts. Okay, what the? 
Wait. Okay, what type of CAD is that? Is that something Tasu made for her? Oh, uh, most, most, most probably. <clears throat> All right. So she had anticipated this from the beginning, even before the matches. Oh, dual wielding. <laughs> yeah. Nah, this is Tatsuya's thing, so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Oh, autopilot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. Why is everyone screaming like that? What the hell? <laughs> it's as if like... Phone on Mazer. Whoa, she's like making a hole in the ice. Okay. Hmm. Hold on, Mesa. Yeah. Yeah, but it's her own, um, you know, talent as well. Hmm. Okay, yeah. But there's one problem with this. Like, it's like a single target thing. You know, if this was like an AOE attack, it would have been better. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, obviously. He's he's neutral at least for this match. Hmm. His service. Oh. Oh my god, she's going all out. <laughs> okay. Boy. <laughs> all right. There you go, Niflheim. That was what I was saying, like this Ice Pillars break. So she can easily reinforce her own pillars using Niflheim. There you go. <laughs> Like, she has both eyes and firepower, so she can easily do that. Oh.
Damn. <laughs> Why? Oh. What? Oh, is, is it like like heating and then freezing is going to like make a not on new deploy? Oh. My God. The liquid nitrogen is Oh. 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 my God. Whoa. Oh. Oh. my God. There you go. Ah. Well. Not a sing. There's a little bit of a uh, damage, but still not a single one. Shizuku was able to you know destroy God. Yeah. Well, that's a bummer. Okay, yeah. Okay, uh, end of day six. <sighs> oh, where is she? Not here. Oh, she's in the... <sighs> yeah, but... I'm sure the case could have um is <sighs> what? Oh, what? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, no need to, like, make this more awkward, like, you know, like, yeah, they won. Winner and the runner-up. Yeah. Bad judgment call. What? What is he was talking about? That even. Oh, okay. That's what. But she can improve after this, you know.
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Damn, so many um pastries, cakes, puffs. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, she's also wait. Okay, yeah, yeah, she's also. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, we obviously know who's going to win, so. Oh, this All right. Okay, here we go. Ha. <laughs> yeah, this is Tassia's. <laughs> this is Tassia's stuff, so. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, obviously, like, there's a requirement for good equipment as well. Yes. Oh, she's also participating. Okay, oh no, everyone's participating, I, or maybe. Oh yeah, she can, <laughs> yes, she can, <laughs> her uh, sensitivity to light. <laughs> it's like, you know, like predicting the future in a way. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, they are showing the monolith code. Like, I, I did not think they would show this. Yeah, and you guys never really. Oh God! Oh, this guy is so. Ah, anyways. Wait, they're fighting against the Crimson Prince, aren't they? No. Who are they fighting against? I forgot. Whoa. Oh yeah, this happened, I think, in Retos as well. Yeah, okay. Hmm. 
all right so like as i said like you know this episode was basically shizuku versus uh miyuki and then a little bit of miraj bat the next episode one thing i was not expecting is them showing the monolith code like a, a glimpse of that i never thought they would like go into that but i'm guessing for the plot they need to kind of show it a little bit otherwise it really won't make sense so yeah <laughs> and and in the next episode i'm guessing we're going to get to the main bit where miyuki's mirage bat is going to be shown so okay all right that's the end all right so this episode first of all excuse me first of all we see the match the match was like the majority portion of this episode uh between shizuku and honoka and uh, not honoka sorry shizuku and miyuki so uh what shizuku tried to do here as far as i could understand is the you know the oscillation and the resonance uh she started oscillating the whole like you know all the pillars and she wanted to reach the resonance point resonance point being the i think it's like the natural frequency of objects if you uh start uh vibrating uh stuff and if the frequency of the vibration reaches the natural frequency of that thing it starts vibrating even more intensely like that's basically uh, according to scientific terms as far as i remember that's resonance so i'm guessing she was trying to reach that point you know with the oscillation so miyuki stopped that before it reached the resonance point so because if it reached the resonance point um the oscillations would increase and she would have probably been able to uh, destroy miyuki's pillars uh all at the same time so the thing here is i think the thing here that was a problem there was a lot of problems in this like obviously like shizuku herself knew she would not win first of all uh as uh, tasya said the phonon um uh, i can't remember the name of the technique but that she used uh shizuku used uh the phonon that technique that first of all it i'm sure it takes a lot of time to get it all practice with it and not master but being able to use it properly and they had like uh, i think how many two weeks i think he said so she had like that amount of less amount of time so that's why i said that i apologize because i like, you know really kind of impossible to uh master it within that small amount of time so that was the first thing because she herself was unable to master that properly the second thing is that um like the the first uh, uh, uh what do you call it technique that she was using the resonance technique that's like an all around attack an aoe in video game terms if you call <laughs> you know area of uh, effect attack which targets all the pillars similar to that miyuki's inferno also targets all the pillars but here if she like you know the phone on the the phone on thing that she used if that was a similar attack like that which targeted all the pillars it would have been better but that was like a single target attack so like you know like even if she was able to destroy one of the pillars it wouldn't um like you know really matter much but that really shows that how strong miyuki's pillar in itself was because even using the single target attack she wasn't able to actually um break even one pillar because obviously single target attacks are a lot stronger than an attack which has like an area like you know wide area uh, attack aoe attacks so yeah even using a single target attack she was unable to do anything to the pillar another thing which kind of uh, like you know like which made this match unwinnable for shizuku is miyuki herself she she's like a dual wielding like like ice wielding and fire wielding mage so obviously she can use inferno to dis 
you don't have to damage the other enemy team's pillars and use Niflheim in her own uh, area to strengthen the pillars. So, like, <laughs> like she has both defense and offense. Like, what type of... A <laughs> broken technique is that like like usually in, like in any type of things like no video games are all like, like people are specialized towards one thing either you're a tank which kind of has more defensive power you like protect your team or you are a dps which has like a stronger offensive power so you go in the front line and attack and there's others like you know support characters healers mages um, more stuff but these are like the main uh what do you call it uh things like a tank and a dps so she has she she's like a mixture of both so like how the hell are you even supposed to <laughs> like you know defeat her like when you try to attack her she'll like defend herself and if you try to defend yourself she'll attack you it's like <laughs> boy like <laughs> yeah like so and Niflheim and inferno those spells in itself are very high level techniques so yeah it's impossible but uh, obviously this is like you know shizuku she she herself uh, was able to bring it to this extent i doubt any of the participants in this you know in the pillars break would have been able to you know damage miliku's miyuki's pillar, pillar at all so in that sense shizuku is most probably came the closest to actually like you know dealing any damage to miyuki's pillars that in itself is one of the biggest achievements and uh, yeah from this we can probably see like how you know how broken Miyuki skills are actually are like in Retosi obviously we were so <laughs> you know focused on Tasu and his broken skills like you know that we never really did pay much attention to Miyuki but we obviously we knew that Miyuki was very strong but this <laughs> this show kind of shows us that like not only Tasu like Miyuki is also really um overpowered so yeah <laughs> nothing else you can do here but okay one thing i was kind of thinking about in the previous episode like what like you know who you know, who's ead will touch the engineer will it be both of them or like neither of them and we kind of got the an answer for this in this episode in itself uh he engineered both their CADs, and he like kind of you know like i'm like he obviously had more what can i say uh i mean he he knows that miyuki's powers so i'm guessing seeing shizuku's resolve he actually you know favored shizuku a little bit more <laughs> than miyuki but only for this instance because she herself like you know he herself saw how shizuku came to him and told him that yeah i want to win so he Kind of like you know well to do that to help her she, he kind of like, you know gave her some tips and gave her uh viable attack plans the way she can win but unfortunately yeah her power was not perfect enough because of the lack of time now one thing here which is really what can i say mm, in a way amazing is that Shizuku actually told this to Tatsuya even before the match just started. So she had the confidence that she will win, Miyuki will win, both of them will go to the final, and they are going to, like, you know, kind of clash against each other. She had that confidence. So that really shows, like, how, what can I say, like, how uh, strong her resolve was to actually fight against Miyuki. And, like, you know, like, she basically, like, before uh how many days i think a week no two weeks you know uh two weeks from two weeks uh ago he she went to tasu and asked for his help <laughs> so she was that confident and obviously like you no know, like i'm sure she knew that miyuki is going to win but the biggest thing here is she had uh, the confidence in herself that she herself will be also be able to uh you know keep going and win all the matches persevere till the end so yeah all right that was that and uh, what else okay the thing that Miyuki used here like some scientific um <laughs> like you know i don't know like some kind of scientific strategy like he used uh the whole nitrogen thing i need to just a sec 
All right. Uh, okay. Uh, when she started using Niflheim, this this portion I was unable to understand. I I'm checking that portion out again. Like the actual theory behind it. Um, like we can, obviously it's very clear what happened, but what's the reason behind it? Okay. Uh, ID, I think that was her name. She says she stopped the ice from melting. But I don't believe that's the only reason Shiba activated Niflheim. Um, is that what she's doing? Okay. That's right. Your data fortification is working on the pillars that were already there. Oh, but not the, on the newer deposits. In other words, it has no effect on the drops and puddles of liquid nitrogen that remains there. Oh. Wait, wait. The liquid nitrogen on the water surface has vaporized thanks to the inferno's heat. Liquid nitrogen on the water surface. All right. It expanded at a rate of 700 times. Okay, there is some scientific reason behind this. I'm probably unable to actually realize what's happening, but most probably what she like, as she said, like her data fortification is working on the pillars that are already there, but the mel molten portions, you know, that became water, she used Niflheim to freeze that back again. So as she said, she's a good uh, like, you know, uh, the fortification is not working on that. And like the, and she said something like the liquid nitrogen that was on the um, water surface, it vaporized and then expanded. Is that it? Liquid nitrogen on the water surface has vaporized thanks to the inferno's heat. Yeah. Inferno's heat and expand it at the rate of hmm okay uh, I'm guessing this is like a oh, wait a minute uh, when you heat something it expands doesn't it yeah and when you cool something it, it Yeah, like <laughs> I forgot about that. I, I obviously I, I like you know I kind of studied about this in my science class, obviously. But yeah, like <laughs> when you freeze something, uh, yeah, there you go. When you freeze something, it cools. And <laughs> like obviously I knew that, but I was kind of confused. <laughs> but yeah, so as, as she said, like, you know, uh, since it's vaporized because of heat, it expanded, I'm guessing, the, uh, the vaporized substance and like made an explosion. Like as she said, like 700 times or something. So that's what I'm guessing like suddenly like, you know, uh, suddenly like vaporized and that kind of expanded the whole thing and made a whole big explosion and completely destroyed the yeah that was it so <clears throat> yeah that's how she won uh so she basically used <laughs> her what do you call it um like some scientific stuff as well like some scientific ways and uh like you know like and obviously her own techniques and everything she made like proper calculated uh predictions as to what's going to happen and won so that's how they won everyone's surprised and yeah they kind of know what's happening how strong yuki herself is and everyone's understanding Tatsuya's strength as well as miyuki said in the like you know later portion and after that obviously like they kind of have a little you know, little food and everything kind of like have a little uh, 
No, that's your tree stem. And yeah, everything's all well and good. Honoka, uh, Mizuku was a little bit sad, obviously, but you know, Honoka was also kind of awkward because of that. But then, like, she, Honoka realized that, yeah, this is just like them friends, like, you know, like fighting against each other, and it's like nothing to you know, become completely depressed about. Like, it's, it's going to happen. Like, she, she'll just have to, um, like, you know, improve in the future and keep doing this technique and i think like obviously shizuku like knows this technique now the whole thing that she did like the dual wielding thing and that's why i said that it's going to take like you know some time to actually master this so she has time after this after this she can obviously like take her time and um, master this technique herself and who knows maybe in the future she'll be able to use it to like you know in a very good way and it will actually help her in some other point in her life all right that was that and then we start the mirage bat and yeah all of them are doing quite well subaru uh honoka is there and i'm guessing uh later on miku is going to join as well and um honoka obviously with because of her uh, sensitivity to light and uh, like, you know he's able to actually predict it like where's where, where the like, things are going to come and hit that before it even appeared so that gives her uh, an immense advantage and yeah so yeah that's like start like it started in a good way and uh, obviously I'm, I'm sure we're going to get to see miyuki in action as well miyuki with her specialized uh, thing uh, I, I forgot the thing that she used that she uses you know tasa makes a different one for her as far as i remember in red Tose, which is like one of the like you know one of the greatest inventions that she he as toro silver you know made and um like that's like one of the biggest like inventions or something so that's like the, the first the person who actually uses it is miyuki in this like mirage pad so i'm kind of looking forward to that as well probably in the next episode and oh also in the last scene we kind of saw the monolith code happening and those guys kind of like you know the whole building kind of collapsing on them i think i remember that happening in retrosa as well i can't actually pinpoint when it happened but it happened something like this so yeah that's another thing so we're probably going to see more of that in the next episode and uh, yeah we're almost at the end uh, end of the school uh, you know the nine school uh, tournament and uh, the like, you know the events as well the girls events as well we obviously have tatsuya's event like you know uh event the, the fight that they're going to have tatsuya and like you know, leon all of them and versus crimson prince and cardinal uh, george but i'm not sure if they're going to show that properly probably they're going to show, show a little bit bits and snippets of it or like they're going to like, you know kind of say like yeah this happened but i'm not i don't think they're going to like you know really show it like you know uh, in detail because that happened in Red Tose. I obviously they're not going to repeat that here. But yeah, that was like that was one of the big like best thing scenes in like you know Mahoka uh, Mahoka. The whole like you know battle between Cardinal George Crimson Prince versus Tatsuya. And that was really impressive. Like uh but unfortunately we're not going to see that here. Because this is Yutose, not Red Tose. So yeah, but anyways, yeah, the next episode, probably Mirage Pet. I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, guys, that was it. Thank you guys for watching. This was my reaction to Mahoka Koko no Yutose episode number 10. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say. Anything you want to let me know, I'll check them out. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Mahoka Koko no Yutose. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.